guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are in the middle of the best season of the year, if you ask me, fall. We've got the best food, the best weather, and the best makeup. Now, I rock a dark lip year round, that's just me, but it seems like in fall, it's the most acceptable time to rock a dark lip. And I know that there are some issues with it. I know that dark lips can be messy and get everywhere and can fade throughout the day, which Trust me, it ain't cute. Nobody wants that ring around your mouth where your lipstick is gone and it's all on your coffee cup or your food. And especially if you're wearing liquid lipsticks, in this time of year, your mouth can get really, really, really dry. So today I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks that I do to keep my lips nice and moisturized and to keep my color strong throughout the day. I hope this helps y'all and keep on watching. All right guys, the first step is to use a lip scrub. I use a lip scrub almost every day, especially when I'm wearing liquid lipsticks, and a lip balm. I usually put a lip balm on while I'm doing the rest of my face, wipe off any foundation that's gotten onto my lips, and then add another layer of lip balm. So the reason why a lip balm is so important to this look is because we're going to be going in with a lot of really drying products. I know that especially in the cold seasons, our lips tend to dry out the most because they're exposed to the air. So we really want to make sure that we keep them as protected and as moisturized as possible. Now the lip liner I'm using is the NYX Matte Suede Lip Liner in the color Club Hopper. I love this color, but I can't say that I am totally in love with the lip liner itself. Without a lip balm underneath, the product tends to pull on and not glide on. So it leaves a patchy look, but I find that with that layer of moisture, it applies perfectly. Or, well, maybe not perfectly, but definitely a lot easier. So as you can see, I am not just lining my lip. I am coloring it all in. I'm using the pencil point to perfect the shape of my lips, to perfect the outline on my bottom lip, and to really, really emphasize my cupid's bow. The reason why I'm using this color is because it is the exact shade as the lipstick I'm going to go in with. I really recommend that you use a lip liner underneath that is either a little bit darker or the exact same color as the lipstick you plan on using. This will help your lipstick last longer. Especially with dark colors, they tend to get this weird ring on the outer and inner portions of your lips. And with this liner underneath, it helps to prevent that ring from being more prominent. I know that certain products are patchy, and when you eat and drink, that patchiness comes off. If you have a color underneath that's the same color, it will help, A, your lipstick to hold on and stay on, and B, any product that comes off by transferring, it won't look as patchy. I know that many times I've worn a liquid lip and I've gotten that inner ring on my bottom lip where the product tends to gunk up and get really thick. I find that when I use a lip liner that's darker the same color, I don't need to apply as much of the liquid lip itself, which helps prevent that cakiness on the inside as well. And just another tip that I like to use, I the less lipstick I need to put on my lips, the happier I feel. Um, nobody wants that thick, tight, cakey feeling when it comes to liquid lipstick. It just, it's not comfortable. It tends to make your lips feel dry. It can emphasize cracks in your lips and lines. And that's another reason why I use lip liners as a base for my lipsticks. I don't want those lines to show. And you can see I just keep going back and forth with that lip liner, really, really perfecting it. I just want to make sure that it's as dark as I can possibly get it and the shape is exactly where I want it to be. So with the base of our lip liner down, the next thing to do is go in with our lipstick. I am using a product by Tarte. It is the Tartiest Lip Paint in the color Frenemy. I absolutely love this color. It is one of my favorite lip colors to wear of all time. But I have a few issues with the product itself. I really would not call it a liquid lip. The consistency is more of a thick cream, almost frosting-like. So I have a hard time applying it sometimes. Um, it goes on really, really patchy, as you can see right here. 
even with the lip liner at first. You might need to do a couple coats. And with a product this thick, it's certainly where you can get to that cakey, gunky feeling. You can see that I'm wiping the brush off at the top before I apply it on my lips. Even when I go in and smack my lips together, the product tends to move and it brings out more of that patchiness. So I like to get it on there in one layer, top and bottom, let it set a little bit before I go in with another layer just to perfect it. And this one I might suggest that you blot it onto a piece of paper or a tissue before you put in a second layer just to kind of help with that thick gunky feeling. I don't think I did it this particular day but it's a bit of a finicky product. I mean if you can see right where my cupid's bow is it does look a little lighter but that's why we have that lip liner underneath. Uh, throughout the day as I wore this it did not fade. It's just you really need to focus on the application and get it on as perfectly as you can and that will help it throughout the day. And that's just the only thing I can say with this particular lip product. Now once I have it on I'm going to take a paper towel that I have and I'm going to run my finger along the lines of my lips just so that I can get a cleaner cut line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this layer just set a little bit and dry down. I'm going to wipe off anything or help perfect some of those edges. And once I feel that it's dried down enough, I'm going to take a very small amount, certainly not as thick of a layer as I did before, and I'm just going to touch up the patchy spots that I see that are bothering me. You can see I'm taking so much product off the brush because we just need a little, little bit to just really perfect and define. And once you've done that, that's really it. This product will stay on all day once it dries down matte. And that's it. I hope these quick and easy tips will help you keep your lipstick on and dark all day. I can't wait to show you guys what's next. Bye!